This is Brett from FoodTruckEmpire.com. Wanted to record a quick video today to show you how to submit your food truck, your trailer, your cart, or other mobile food unit on FoodTruckEmpire.com. This is really important to submit correctly to make sure that your listing is published and approved quickly but also to make sure that more buyers are gonna see your listing and so that they have all the information that they need to make the decision to reach out to you and potentially uh, purchase your vehicle. Uh, I guess before we get started with this training, really what I wanna impress upon you is that when you submit a listing on here, really try to put yourself into the buyer's shoes. So like what information would you wanna know before you purchase a food truck? Um, and, and all those different details. And as long as you follow that general guideline, uh, you'll be good to go. But um, before we get started here, I'm going to be placing a more detailed link to instructions that you can uh, read after putting out this video here shortly that you can go to and find more written information about this if you want more tips and if you want to take a look at <clears throat> some examples of listings that I think are really, really good ones and that have gotten a lot of visibility in the past. So let's get started uh, right now and let's just go through filling out a listing to start it off. Now, a lot of these first sections are pretty straightforward. They're very black and white uh, type information. Uh, you're gonna wanna start out with the options tab here that I have listed. You're gonna see there's a few different options that you can select right now. There may be a few more added into the future, but uh, for right now, you can see you can list a food cart, a food trailer, food truck, or other. Um, you know, list anything other that just you don't think really fits into any of these other categories. Folks have listed things like uh, pizza trolleys on here in the other section, food boats, uh, things like that that just don't fit into these other areas but are still uh, mobile food units. But I'll select food cart just for this one. Uh, next is post title. Now post title, think of this as the headline of your listing. Um, just try to make it pretty short, sweet, but let it describe what exactly you're selling. So I'm just gonna put down as an example, a coffee trailer, uh, you know, 1997 coffee trailer. with you know 18 foot let's just go 18 foot 1997 coffee trailer <laughs> okay uh, then followed by uh, that one you know all of these are gonna be very quick so I'll just say 46,000 you know your asking price this is how much money you want for the vehicle the year of the vehicle again very straightforward In this case it's 1997 uh, make of the vehicle I'll just fill in some dummy information for a lot of these, but uh, fill in the accurate stuff on your end because this is all important stuff that you know a buyer is actually going to want to know. Um, there we go. Now, for some vehicles, obviously the mileage uh, does not apply, especially with a trailer, for example, or maybe a food cart. So I'm just going to say not applicable uh, since it's a trailer. And fuel type, again, does not apply in this situation. 18 feet, I'll say in length, 10 feet in height. Permits, this is another one good, good one to have, especially if we end up finding um, a local buyer. This is gonna be uh, real important information to have, so make sure that you list any permits, either city, county, or state that you might have. Uh, from there, we've got a variety of different options that you can select here. Uh, cooking equipment, obviously this is not comprehensive by any means, but if you have uh, these pieces on there, make sure to list them um, right here, just to give people a sense of some of the high level items that you've got already pre-installed on this trailer. Now going down to the additional description area, this is one of the most critical parts of the listing that you're gonna fill out. Now, as you can see it here, it doesn't look like that big of a box, but you can actually go ahead and drag this and make it a lot larger on your screen so that you've got more room. Now, this additional description is actually gonna be 
think of it as like the body of your listing. So I'm going to show you what this looks like after you submit it, the additional description part. I'm going to scroll down here and you can see that this description here is going to be really helpful to give prospective buyers additional information about your actual listing. As a general rule of thumb, I actually like to recommend people write between 200 and 300 words um, just as a general guideline. Now, of course, if you've got more information to provide beyond that, say 500 words, great, go for it. More is definitely better. Again, put yourself in the buyer's perspective. If you're gonna be spending $50,000 on a piece of equipment, you're gonna to wanna to know as much as possible about the vehicle before you go and take a look at it. Also, from your perspective, listing the vehicle, you wanna give people as much information upfront um, so that if they are in fact not interested in it, then they've got all that information so they don't need to reach out to you and say, hey, does this have a fridge installed? Does this truck have an AC unit? You wanna have all that information available. That way you don't have to talk uh, to people that really aren't interested in what you have to sell. Now, just a few general ideas for things that I like to take a look at and um, write about within these description areas. Uh, so some of the easy things right off the bat, talk about what equipment is on the truck. Uh, you know, what's the mileage? How far have you driven on a regular basis? How, how well have you maintained it? Um, but I'd go a bit beyond that too and just, you know, how, how have you used the truck? You know, where, where have you um, sold food from it uh, with? You know, have you gone to some different festivals? Uh, how did you go about doing that? This is all really good information for buyers to have. Uh, if you want to, I would even say the reason why you're selling it uh, so that people know that too. That's always a, a question that some buyers have. Beyond that, I would also recommend offering up some potential uses that your truck could be used for. Um, so for example, let's say that you had a coffee truck and you were only selling coffee from it. Well, so on there, I'd imagine you've got, you know, a co coffee makers, an espresso machine, uh, things like that, maybe some other uh, beverage or blender equipment to serve other uh, drinks. Well, if you have a coffee truck, that can probably really easily be converted into a tea truck or a smoothie truck or a donut truck, a breakfast truck, you know, think about that. Think about these other uses or other menu uh, models that people could potentially use your truck for. And then you'll be able to get more people interested in your potential listing because some people are not gonna look beyond, they're just not gonna be able to look beyond what you have there. If you list it as just a coffee truck, that's just what they're gonna take it at as face value. Make sure that you, let them know what you can convert it into and then you'll be able to um, make this listing relevant to a wider range of buyers. Finally, just a couple other ideas, you know, unique elements about the vehicle. If, it, if this is a, a vehicle that has been manufactured by a specific company that has um, a really good brand name behind it or maybe it's just a really unique vehicle or you've got some unique lighting or televisions on the inside or whatever it is, make sure to list those. And finally, again, just a good rule of thumb, just make sure to mention um, anything that you would wanna know as a buyer, put yourself in the buyer's shoes. Next, we're almost done filling out the form here. Um, I'm not gonna add, <laughs> type out 200 to 300 uh, words here, um, just in essence of time, but images you're gonna really want to make sure that you've got some good images uh, for the vehicle. A picture is worth a thousand words and that is definitely gonna be true um, on here. Uh, listings that have good videos of both, or good images of both the exterior of the truck or trailer and the interior of the trailer, those are the ones that we see people getting uh, looking at the most um, and end up getting sold is ones with really, really good exterior and interior uh, pictures. Now, a few things to keep in mind is we, um, unfortunately at this time, can only upload a 
image that is two megabytes or less. So some, some uh, cameras are gonna put together these really large file sizes. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that for us in a minute. But when you have your file ready, you can just click the choose file. I'm just gonna pick a random photo off of here. Um, and then you can see that my file name was added. And then you're gonna just wanna go ahead and do that for um, you know as many images you have. Definitely add at least three to four. Um, but if you've got six decent ones, uh, go ahead and add those too. Now, if you wanna be extra safe and save some time and you're not sure if your file sizes are right, head on over to a website called imageoptimizer.net. And I'm gonna include that URL within the additional detailed instructions link on this page, but it's just imageoptimizer.net. But what you're gonna be able to do here is take your image file, click choose file, you know, pick whatever image that you have. I'm gonna pick this picture here that I know is of myself. See, get it uploaded, and then you can just click optimize now. And then this tool will quickly send you a smaller file size of your image. And it's a really easy tool that you can use to uh, make sure that the images are adhere to the file size for this setup. Finally, uh, if you aren't able to get your images through, just feel free to submit a email to support at foodtruckempire.com and just email those photos to us and we can usually uh, work it into the system that way. Finally, we are 95% of the way there. You know, add in your contact information, your last name, your phone number, your email address. This is gonna allow buyers to contact you, make sure the email and telephone actually work. You know, if you don't wanna receive phone calls, that's fine. Don't leave your phone number here. Uh, just leave an email address. Finally, location information. This is another really, really big one to make sure that you've got accurate. Make sure you include, at the very least, the city, state, or province, if you happen to live in Canada, the country, and the zip code that you happen to live in. Finally, you're just gonna hit the click listing. Now, as you can see, I don't have a detailed description in it, entered into here. So that sent me back up to this section to complete. But if I had filled everything out, you will um, see a message that just says, thank you for submitting. At this point, it will take, you know, roughly 48 hours on average for us to be able to review the listing. We re actually manually review every single listing that goes live on this site to make sure that it is, you know, actually a good listing that has good information um, and accurate information and photos that uh, the people that check out this site have a good experience and see high quality uh, food trucks, food carts only on here. So uh, after that, all there really is to it is to wait about 45 hours, you're gonna get an email then from us. Uh, if you filled out everything correctly, everything looks good, you've got some good images, you have a great description, good details, you're just gonna have um, an email with us and you'll see the link to the uh, listing page that we've created for you. If we do need more information, the email will say, hey, uh, you know, we need some images, the, the files that size that you sent over to us were too large or uh, the other most common one is just that there wasn't a very detailed description written about the vehicle. Um, again, I understand this can be a little bit time consuming to fill this out, but this will, help you sell your truck faster at the end of the day. And it's also gonna help uh, the users uh, be able to see the great vehicle that you have for sale and understand the opportunity that you're presenting to them. Uh, with that being said, if you have any other questions, feel free to email us at support at foodtruckempire.com. Thanks a lot for listening.